Hi, YouTube. <laughs> I want to make a video because I just watched John Wick last night. The day came out, first day. I watched the first three John Wicks like two months ago, knowing that the fourth one was coming out soon. And so I've just been really into John Wick. And something, I don't know. The whole basis of this video is based off this idea that I, this, this concept that I simply can't get out of my head. John Wick, and if you don't know anything about John Wick lore, I'll tell you a little bit about it. John Wick is essentially, if you took Batman straight out the comic books, the same man that goes blow for a blow with Superman. If you took that Batman straight out the comic books and put him into our world, that's John Wick. John Wick is set in a world of assassins, right? And he is the assassin. They have a whole complex system that is worldwide. Literally in every aspect of life, this, this organization runs through. All right, in major cities in the world. So, and John Wick is the assassin. Every assassin, every one of these assassins worldwide are all highly trained killers, but everyone knows the name John Wick. I want you to understand, like I want, I'm trying to build it up so you understand who John Wick is. Like that man's name is feared. So now I have, the, I have a question. During the John Wick movies, several people put bounties on John Wick's head. I don't think you need me to tell you that these bounties don't go anywhere because there's a fourth movie that just came out. Obviously the bounties have not been working, but these are bounties worth millions of dollars where assassins are seeing these bounties, seeing John Wick's name and deciding, hmm, I wanna try. I don't care how much money you pay me. I don't care, and I'm a man who would do anything for a billion dollars. I will do nearly anything for a billion dollars. I don't care what you tell me or what money you put up on the table. I'm not going after John Wick. Pride is the downfall of a lot of men. You see John Wick, you see three million next to his name. Is my life worth three million dollars? No, because I will die. I'm not getting that three million, I'm going to die. If Nick Cannon came up to me tomorrow and said he wanted to fuck me and try his best to impregnate me for a billion dollars, I would take 100 Nick Cannon dicks before I went after John Wick. But it seems like I'm the only one who understands that. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. The man is straight action. My friend picked me up on the way to the movie yesterday. And I was thinking about it. Since I've seen these movies, I've always thought, John Wick doesn't say anything. Like, he doesn't talk. These are two hour plus movies where he doesn't talk. This fourth movie was two hours and 50 minutes long. He barely speaks. He shoots people the whole time. That's what he does. Like, he doesn't talk. He doesn't talk things out. He doesn't compromise. On the way to the movie theater, I looked it up. In the first movie, I looked it up right now, I'll put a screenshot. I was re-watching John Wick and decided to do a word count, because why not? The result, John Wick says 82 words before he kills anyone. He says 429 words after killing someone. So John Wick says a total of 511 words during the movie. That is a middle school essay. A middle school essay with three paragraphs three sentences per paragraph, that was John Wick's script. The whole movie script has 2,781 words in total. That's a college essay. Yesterday while we were watching the movie, my friend set a timer on his watch because we wanted to see how long John would go without saying a single word. It was a seven minute gap where John was on screen the whole time and didn't say a single word. He was killing people for seven minutes straight. And you wanna give me a billion dollars to go and kill him? Am I a fool? This is the next day. And I wanted to speak on something. Because I, I talked about John Wick. I'm gonna turn into John Wick soon. If y'all keep disrespecting me, I've done that, hold up. This is not funny. If y'all keep disrespecting me this way, I'm going to turn into John Wick. Put the tweet up, Eosis. POV, you're on the worst section of Twitter. And I know who did it. I know who did it. It was Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon did it. I made a couple jokes about Nick Cannon. I made a couple jokes, a couple jokes. And now suddenly I'm the bad guy. Well, we don't like jokes no more. We can't joke around no more. <laughs> There's nothing that I do. I talk about basketball. I talk about anime, cartoons, books, fun things, food. Oh, do I talk about food. I've talked about my love for different cultures and how they've taken food, similar foods, and turned them 
into such amazing different pieces of artistic work. I talk about art. I talk about music. I talk about my appreciations for scholars like Aristotle and Plato. Somehow, you know, people have fallen in love with the things and the wholesome tweets that I've tweeted and they've decided to follow me. But because of that, I need to be condemned. I'm dragged into these nonsensical collages. POV, you're on the worst side of these collages. Can we talk about how there's never any white people in these collages? It's only always black people. Every collage, boom, boom, put the collages up, Yoshi, put the collages up. Every collage I see, it's always black people. I don't want to see me. You don't understand. I've been doing boxing. You don't understand. All this rah, rah, rah on the internet, but you don't want to post up. When it's time to post up, suddenly everybody's quiet. <laughs> Y'all better stop playing with me before I get horny. And change this whole shit up. When the rod comes out, lips get tucked. Yeah. When the cylinder rolls out, circles get closed. Yeah. Because when the meat comes out, the bread goes away. Yeah.